After decades with volatile fossil fuel prices, and with the increasing economic effects of global warming, the big question is, how do we invest our money to get the most out of our resources today, tomorrow, and in the future? We need to ask ourselves, do we know the price of oil in the future? And what about the price of carbon, of gas, and what about the cost on the environment? The answer to all these questions is the same. We simply don't know. What we do know is that wind energy has a stable and predictable cost model. There are no fuel costs, no carbon costs, and there are virtually no environmental costs. So all in all, wind energy is a safe bet for our energy future. We need to focus on the cost of energy because energy consumes resources. It consumes cash, it consumes construction materials, it consumes resources that could be used in a different way, just like allocating resources in a household budget. So we need to focus on the cost of energy so that we make sure that we get the most energy out of our money. It's necessary to involve governments in energy in general because energy is a long-term consideration. It isn't just you know, business and industry that need energy. Society as a whole, consumers need energy. And energy investments, they're long-term investments. They're 20, they're 50, they're 60 years. So you need governments to provide a stable basis upon which you can make those investments. Everybody needs energy. Businesses, industry, consumers need energy. Um, and energy matters for the competitiveness of local business, it matters for jobs, it matters for economic growth as a whole. So you need to focus on the cost of energy. Before we're able to compare energy sources and decide which one is most cost effective, we need to define cost of energy. And the cost of energy is the cost of generating one kilowatt hour of electricity. Not the cost of building the power plant, but the cost of actually generating the electricity at the power plant. Before you choose your future energy sources, you have to compare the actual cost of each. But how can we make a better and more fair comparison between very different energy resources? When a city needs to choose what kind of energy it's going to use, it needs to consider the full cost of the energy sources that it's going to choose. So for example, if we look at the cost of fossil fuels, you have the capex, your initial investment, the cost of building your power plant. And then you have the OPEX, the operating expenditures, which include the cost of buying fuel for your power plant. It includes the, co the cost of carbon and other costs. Besides that, you have the indirect environmental costs of this power plant, for example, water use. And then you have potential social costs with fossil fuels, for example, health costs. At the end of the lifetime of your fossil fuel plant, you also have the decommissioning cost, which is taking apart that power plant. When we talk about wind energy, wind energy has a comparatively high capital investment, but it has low operating expenses because there is no fuel cost and no carbon cost. Wind energy also has virtually no environmental costs and virtually no social costs. And at the end of the lifetime of your wind power plant, the decommissioning costs are also not very large. And finally, if you want to, for example, compare with nuclear power, Nuclear power has also a relatively high capital expenditure, and the operation, operational costs for a nuclear power plant include a fuel cost, and it also includes the insurance cost, which is relatively high for nuclear compared to other power sources. There are potentially very large environmental and social costs, and at the end of the lifetime of that power plant, you also have the decommissioning costs because you need to store your waste for a long period of time after your power plant has stopped working. Many different factors affect the cost of energy. We can all help reducing it, but how? How can both governments and the industry lower the cost of wind energy today, tomorrow, and in the years to come? Well, Vestas um, focuses on lowering the cost of energy through improvements in our technology. Um, our turbines are made for specific kinds of sites and specific kinds of wind speeds. And by optimizing the turbine to each site where it's going to be installed, we ensure that we get the most power out of every blade and every turbine compared to the megawatts installed. For example, governments have a role to play in that by reducing risk in the political and regulatory framework. Because if you have um, an uncertain political and regulatory framework, you 
you increase the risk of your investment, and that increases the interest rates that you pay to get funding for your project, which increases the cost of energy. The governments can also institute, for example, support schemes for wind energy, because a support scheme, it makes your income from a project more stable, and that means that it's less risky and it's cheaper to borrow money for your project, and that also reduces the cost of energy. The demand for energy will only increase from now on. And when the indirect and real cost of energy is not reflected in the prices, the full potential of wind power is easily misunderstood. But how can wind help us ensure a lower cost of energy going forward? In any investment that we make today, it's a, it's a bet on future energy prices. It's a bet on the cost of fuel. It's a bet on the cost of carbon. It's a bet on the future cost of energy. Wind energy is a good investment going forward because it has a stable and predictable cost model and because we can predict what the price is going to be and we know that it's a safe investment. It's a safe bet. Since the early 70s, the price of oil has fluctuated dramatically due to increasing demand and often unpredictable and uncontrollable events disrupting supply. Overall, the clear trend for the oil price points only upwards. Meanwhile, the cost of wind energy has fallen steadily and may continue to do so. We keep the cost of energy low in the future by making the right decisions today about what kind of power that we're going to invest in for now and for tomorrow. Well, governments should choose wind energy compared to other energy sources because wind energy is definitely a less risky in energy investment compared to fuel-based energy because we know that wind energy has a stable and predictable cost model embedded. There are no fuel costs, there are no carbon costs, and there are virtually no environmental costs.